So, it is 12am on the 13th of February, so it's officially the start, in my time zone at least, of the self-care readathon. Normally when I vlog, I don't wear makeup, but I filmed three ASMR videos, so I have a full face and eyelashes and all that. So I have a lot of stuff planned for this weekend. I had a lot planned for Sunday on Valentine's Day. I was going to go to the city with my sister to do uh, some of the prompts and stuff like that, but... It was literally announced earlier, technically yesterday, because it's now 12 a.m., that Victoria is now under stage four restrictions because of more COVID cases popping up. So I can't leave my house. So this readathon is all just gonna be at home, chilling and stuff like that, which I'm kind of disappointed about, but it's COVID. It still exists. It's not gone. So that's just life right now. So that's disappointing, but oh well. So I'm still planning on reading the books that I put in my TBR, which is Radio Silence, Clap When You Land, and um, You Should See Me in a Crown. I don't know if I'm going to get to You Should See Me in a Crown. If I finish Clap When You Land, I will get to it. But if not, I am probably just going to combine the two prompts, read a book with pink on the cover and a book you think you'll love for Clap When You Land because three books is a bit ambitious for me for two days. But for my plans for this weekend, I'm thinking of, I want to do all of the prompts because I'm obviously hosting and was one of the ones who created this readathon. I'm a little bit ambitious and I want to do all of them. But I'm thinking of doing on the board the far left and then the middle rows going down. And then on Sunday or Valentine's Day, doing the middle row going across and the far right. So that's my plans. So today, technically the 13th, I'm going to be reading both Radio Silence and Clap When You Land. And then tomorrow, depending on if I finish Clap When You Land, I'm going to be reading You Should See Me in a Crown and then doing all of the other prompts. So yeah, I'm really excited. So I'm gonna take off all my makeup, start to chill out. And yeah, I'll check back in a little bit. Before I go though, I'm gonna do a little satisfying eyelash peel because it's so satisfying. Anyway, if you want to know the aftermath of when I film ASMR, this is what it looks like. I have to deal with this shit. Hello, so it's now 1.30 a.m. and I've literally done barely anything. Also, can we just mention how much better quality my vlogs are gonna get now that I have this ring light? Because holy shit, the lighting isn't gonna be shit every time I vlog and I can do it without my hands. I love that. But I'm just sitting on my bed right now. I have basically done nothing since my little intro. I cleaned my room. I obviously took off all my makeup and got myself ready for bed and in comfortable clothing. I went with my dad to go get cat food from the servo or the gas station where I also got an iced coffee and the sweet treat that I'm going to be eating later on in the vlog. But I need to edit a video that's going to be going up later today for my ASMR channel. My main channel video that's going up on Sunday, it's all set and it's literally ready to upload. All I need to do is put it on public, but I need to quickly edit an ASMR video. And then after that, my first book that I'm planning on reading is the reread of Radio Silence because I'm just in the mood for it, man. I am also outside of this vlog. Um, reading Daisy Jones and the Six. The freaking book charm is going crazy. And I li literally have like 30 pages left. I didn't realize how little pages I had left. What? Yeah, I literally have like 30 pages until I finish this. So... I could possibly, because it has pink on the cover, technically I could finish this tomorrow instead. And then read either Clap When You Land or you should see me in a crown 
as the one that I think I'll love. I actually might do that. You know what? I'm actually going to finish Daisy Jones and the Six tonight before bed because I want to sleep for a little bit, not too long, because obviously I have shit to do for the readathon. I might just do this for the pink on the cover. I'm literally changing my TBR as I'm filming this. If I get through that really quickly, I will then start Radio Silence and I could possibly get pretty far. I don't know. We'll have to see. I'm going to edit this ASMR video. So I'll check back later. So, um, it's now 1 p.m. I slept for way too long. I didn't end up finishing editing my video. And I didn't read anything last night. This readathon is going so well so far. Oh my god. I'm gonna continue editing my video. I'm so hungry, so I'm gonna eat something. And then I'm gonna finish Daisy Jones and the Six, start Radio Silence, and then we'll do either Pamper Yourself or Watch Your Favorite Comfort Movie. So, yeah, I'll check back later. <laughs> So I'm a dumbass and I realized that last night I wasn't looking at where I was up to. I was looking at the bookmark that I have in place for where I want to get up to. I'm actually on page 265 out of 330. So I don't have 30 pages left. I have like 70 pages left, which is still fine. I could still fly through this quicker than finishing a whole book. So I can still technically count it. The thing that I wanted for this readathon is its flexibility. I wanted people to be able to interpret the prompts as little or as much as possible. If you want to read three separate books, do it. If you want to use a book that you're currently reading as one of the prompts, that still counts. If you want to combine prompts, that still counts. If you want to just whatever makes it easier for you, do it. Do it! Just do it! You can interpret any way you want. I didn't want it to be strict whatsoever. So as the host, I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to be finishing my current read as one of the prompts. So I'm going to start reading this. I finished editing and it's currently up exporting right now. So I'm going to read this and then afterwards I'm going to eat something later on tonight. We'll pamper myself and then watch a movie. So I'm really excited. So I'll check back later. In October it feels like summertime. I keep falling for you like every night Been communicating through satellites yeah. It's black and white I'm So I finished Daisy Jones and the Six And I cried I love it so much It's a new fave <sighs> Just everything about it I fucking loved I've heard a lot of people say that they thought it was boring But like I loved it. I loved all the characters. I loved the dynamic of Daisy joining them. I loved the drama. It just, it felt so raw and real. And I loved it so much. So that's the first book done. We can tick it off the prompt board. And so now I'm thinking of either pampering myself or watching a movie. I'll probably watch a movie. That's what I'm thinking of doing. Because then I can also get my video ready to be uploaded for my ASMR channel, which I edited today. I don't know what movie I'm going to watch. We'll figure that out now. What's the time now? It's now six o'clock. So it took me a little while to finish this, but I also had to set up the live show for tomorrow and make the thumbnail and stuff like that, which I probably should have watched the movie then. I'm thinking either Anastasia or Tangled. Okay, so Anastasia's out of the picture, and so is Tangled. God damn it. <gasps> no, I'm watching Labyrinth. 
I haven't seen Labyrinth in so long. Okay, so that's a contender. Labyrinth is a contender. I could watch Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, but I have watched that a lot recently as well. I haven't watched Heathers in a while, but I don't know if that's a comfort movie. I'm getting out my old film book, which I tracked all of the movies that I watched, which I'm probably going to create another one because this one's like really old. I don't know if 12 Angry Men is a comfort movie. Right now, I think I'm going to watch Labyrinth. So, just gonna sit at my bed, watch Labyrinth, and yeah. I might actually change into my Audi. So, three, two, one. Yep, so yeah. I'm just gonna go watch the movie now. Let's go do that. I just finished watching Labyrinth and I feel like Daisy Jones and the Six has made me emotionally unstable because as I was watching it, the nostalgia of Labyrinth was nearly making me cry. Like, what the heck? But it had been a long time since I've watched Labyrinth, so I'm kind of glad that I chose to watch that one because it was just so nostalgic for me. And the whole movie is iconic. Is it cringe at times? Yes, of course. But David Bowie, all the songs, it's literally a fever dream, but in the best way possible. And I just, I just love it. So I'm glad that I watched that. So now my rest of the plans for the rest of today, it's now eight o'clock. I'm gonna be starting Radio Silence, my reread, and I'm kind of excited because I really want to like annotate it while I read, if I have time. I've calculated the amount of time it will take to read Radio Silence and um, Clap When You Land based on the audiobooks, and it should me it should take me about 10 hours, but that's on 1.5 speed, and I'm pretty sure I can read this in two times speed since I've already read it, so or at least 1.75. So it should take me less time, and that's plenty of time since I have over like 30 hours left of this readathon. So I have plenty of time to do something I love, listen to my favorite song or album, and all that stuff. So this is actually turning out really well, and I'm really surprised. So, I need to do some of the dishes, so I'm probably going to do that while listening to the audiobook of Radio Silence, and then I'll have dinner, and then later tonight I can pamper myself, so this is turning out really well so far. I'm kind of shocked. Oh well. So, I'm going to go do that, and I'll check back in with you guys later. <laughs> Obviously, I had dinner and I did a little bit of reading and then, as you saw, I did the pamper yourself prompt, so that's done. I used a Lush bath bomb that I got recently and did a face mask and lit some candles and stuff like that. 
and I did some reading of Radio Silence while I was in the bath physically, but I ended up just putting on the audiobook and laid in the bath just listening to that for like an hour and then I made myself an iced coffee and then just did some more reading and I'm now up to page 103 which is the beginning of two summer holiday a so that's pretty good I'm enjoying my reread of Radio Silence so much I forgot just how much I love it and like I'm having so much fun with it this readathon is becoming like so successful and I'm having so much fun with it. I don't think I've ever had this much fun with a readathon before, like ever. And like I did the four prompts that I wanted to today. I haven't finished it, but I'm definitely going to be able to finish Radio Silence tomorrow. Considering I've read 100 pages and I have like 300 pages to go, I'm definitely going to go through it. And then the audiobook for Clap When You Land is five hours and I'm probably gonna li listen to that on 1.5 speed so I'm gonna definitely be able to finish that and then I can just do all the rest of the prompts so it's really successful so far but I'm probably gonna go to sleep now because I have the live show at 11 a.m. tomorrow so I'm gonna get some sleep and then tomorrow we'll have breakfast and then do the live show and then continue on with the rest of the prompts so I'm really excited so I'll talk to you all tomorrow so it's now 2 56 I did the live show at 11 a.m. and that went till 12 and in those three hours I've done absolutely nothing I did a little reading sprint during the live show and I read about like 12 pages more but I still have a hefty chunk to go and I still need to read Clap When You Land as well. The audiobook is five hours, so it shouldn't take me too long, but I had lunch, so I'm probably going to read a little bit of Radio Silence, probably, probably up to page 204, read about like a hundred more pages of this. And then after that, I'm probably going to do the prompt, do something you love while listening to the audiobook of clap when you land so i am just going to do that and i'll check in with you guys later So it's now 10 p.m. and uh, I'm on page 165 of Radio Silence and for most of that time I did absolutely nothing once again. I napped for a bit even though I didn't need it. I was on my phone and I just I didn't I didn't have any motivation which honestly like I feel shit for but knowing the fact that Daisy Jones and the Six was the first book that I finished since November. I'm like, of course I don't have any motivation to read. Like, I'm not gonna beat myself up for it. So, since I have two hours left of the readathon, I'm still gonna start Clap When You Land, but I don't think I'm gonna finish it in two hours, plus radio silence. So, that's fine. And then I still have three other non-book related prompts to do. I have do something you love, eat a sweet treat, and listen to your favorite album. So I'm probably going to do something I love while listening to the audiobook of Radio Silence. And it took me a bit to decide what to do because I was thinking of playing video games like Overwatch because I love playing Overwatch. 
but I didn't want to get distracted by Overwatch because I know that if I start playing I could play for like an hour, two hours, three hours. So we're not going to do that. Same goes with going on my Switch and playing Pokemon because I could play that for hours. I'm obviously vlogging so that's uneventful to count as that and like making videos and editing which I technically did edit in this but we're not going to count that. And then listening to music, that's a whole other prompt. And then I'm obviously reading for this readathon, so I can't can't count that. And I can't leave the house, so I can't do that either. So I've decided that I'm going to do some drawing and stuff like that. I love drawing and making art, and I also love like adult coloring books. I love doing that. So I'm probably gonna do some drawing and then do some adult coloring while listening to the audiobook of Radio Silence. Actually, I actually might start Clap When You Land, actually. And I'll do that for a bit, maybe until like 11. And then for the last hour, I'll eat my uh, sweet treat, which I have in the freezer. I'm gonna have some ice cream and it's gonna be amazing. And then I'll listen to my favorite music. So did I finish all the book prompts? No, but we're going to try and finish all of the others and I should hit a bingo with that since I did finish the read a book with pink and red on the cover. If I do eat a sweet treat and listen to um, listen to my favourite song or album, I'll be getting both across and diagonal bingos. So, so that's what I'm going to do. So let's go do that. Eleven ten, and I did my little drawing which I'm so glad that I chose to draw a rose because like I have I've been uh, lately getting back into art and so I've been doing like little like face sketches and drawings and stuff like that but I wanted to use a new gouache that I got 
when I was in Studio Arts in year 12, they had this gouache and I absolutely loved it. And recently I ended up buying it for myself after like so many years. And I wanted to use them for the first time, but I didn't know what to draw. So I decided to just do a rose because even if I'm using a reference photo, it doesn't matter if I'm not doing like the exact same as the ro as the reference because it still looks like a rose, you know? And I could just like be messy with it. And I listened to the audiobook of Clap When You Land while drawing and painting and stuff like that. And I'm up to page 87. So I got a good chunk of the way through this while I was doing that. So that's pretty cool. But I don't think I'm gonna finish it today. So that's fine. Because I'm hosting the readathon, I can bend the rules however I want. And the prompts don't say finish the book. It just says read a book. So I'm currently rereading a book. I finished the uh, read a book with pink or red on the cover, even though that was a current read. And I did start to read a book that I think I love, which I am loving. So I'm going to take it off the board anyway. Dun, 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 dun. Done. But now all I have left to do for the rest of the time is listen to my favorite album or song and eat a sweet treat. So I'm going to turn that light to rainbow and I'm just going to dance around to my playlist of current faves and I'm going to blast music through my Bluetooth speaker. Not too loud and I probably won't leave in a lot of it because I don't want copyright for the vlog, but I'll just leave like snippets. So that's what I'm going to do. And then afterwards, I'll have an ice cream. And if I still have more time, I'll continue reading Radio Silence to page 200. I am going to go do that. So let's freaking party. I'll have my Spotify linked in the description below. I Please ignore my family screaming in the background, but I am so tired after that like holy shit and i'm so sorry you had to witness that mega cringe but you gotta do what you gotta do for the vlog so now the time is 11 40 so i have 20 minutes until the readathon is over so i'm gonna go have my sweet treat and continue reading radio silence until the time is over so yes officially 12 a.m. meaning it is the end of the self-care readathon. I ended up reading up to page 183 
of radio silence and 187 of clap when you land so i didn't finish the reading prompts but that's fine i'm not gonna i'm not gonna be too hard on myself about that but i did all the rest of the prompts i ate my fave sweet treat i did something i loved i listened to my favorite songs i paired with myself and i rewatched my favorite comfort movie and i technically did read three separate books for the prompt but only finished one of them but that's still fine and i hit i think two bingos no three i hit three bingos which is not bad whatsoever so I'm really happy with myself. I had so much fun with this readathon. I don't think I've ever had this much fun with a readathon before. And I'm so happy with the way that it turned out and how the live show turned out and all of that. I'm literally over the moon about like how well this first readathon that I created and hosted along with Emma and Krista went. And I'm just filled with so much love self-love because of the readathon and love for the book community i feel like this was like a great idea like to do as i came back onto booktube just something fun to do to get me back into it and i'm just really happy and i'm so excited to watch everyone's vlogs if anyone vlogged if you participated thank you so much for participating and yeah i hope you all enjoyed this little vlog and if you did please give it a big thumbs up thank you all so 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 much for watching and for supporting me and all of that good stuff and i'll see you on my next video bye